Sandy Says Read. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a review and discussion of The Water Door by Aggie L.J. Now let me get this up here without the glare. There you go. The Water Door. Now, um, what do I want to start with? Let's do an intro first. <laughs> We don't usually do intros on this channel, do we? Today we're going to do a quick little intro to explain Aggie and I are going to share a table at Conjuration, which is a convention taking place up near Atlanta in November. And I will put all the information about the convention and panels and good stuff like that in the drop down box below so that you can check it out. Aggie and I are sharing a table because we want to tag team watching the table and serving on panels. It's going to be great. When I learned who my table partner would be, I looked Aggie up online and purchased the water door. Here's the thing. I purchased the hardcover copy. I was kind of excited to be getting the hardcover edition because I like to have hardcovers when I can and you know, getting them signed is awesome and great. Makes it like a special edition, right? Okay, so I ordered this from Amazon. I had no indication that I was ordering from a third party seller. I had no idea that's what was happening. I didn't, I had no indication of that until the book arrived. And when it arrived and it opened kind of on its own to the center of the book where there was a bookmark in the middle of the book. And I thought to myself, how awesome is that? It was so cool to me that Aggie's publisher had a bookmark blown into the center of the book where there's a map of the world. There's a fantasy world called Tetheray that the characters go to. And I'm going to show you this world. Look at that. How cool is that? Nice, right? Okay, I was excited that the bookmark was blown into the book and it opened to the map. Well, as it turns out, no, that's really not what was happening. But I thought that's what was happening. And I was excited and I was thinking to myself, okay, when I meet her in November, I've got to ask her how that came about. How can I get one of my publishers or a printing press to blow in a bookmark or a flyer or a business card or something? Because that's, I mean, that's a great marketing move right there, right? That's not quite what was happening. The publisher didn't do that. What's happened is this was sold by a third party seller on Amazon and Aggie saw none of the revenue from the sale of this book. None of it. None of it. No. And I'm disappointed in that. I'm upset by that. I'm also upset by the fact that at the front of this book, it's already been inscribed to someone named Kelly. Okay, so Kelly, whoever you are out there, I'm naming and shaming you. And you know, if anyone has a problem with that, this basket is empty, right? Okay, someone named Kelly purchased this book from Aggie at an event in 2022 because this book also has an inscription in here from the author that says special first edition available in 2022 only to Kelly, my new friend, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so I was excited that I was going to go and get this signed by the author. And now I'm going to ask the author to cross out Kelly's name because Kelly doesn't deserve to have her name in this book anymore. I put my name there instead. I'm disappointed in the fact that there are readers out there who trade in their books. That that's I know it's a fact. I know readers do that. I know that readers want to clear space on their shelves and, you know, get something in return for a book they've already read. I get it. But it is disappointing that then bookstores, secondhand bookstores, or third party sellers online, then make money off of that reader, off of that author, someone else is making money off of the system, and the author's not. I mean, we authors already struggle hard enough to make pennies off of our hard work. This is disappointing. So there we go. Um, <laughs> Aggie, <laughs> sorry that I gave money to somebody else and not you. Hopefully this review will inform some folks out there that your book exists, those who didn't already know, 
and hopefully they will go purchase the paperback version. There is a paperback version of The Water Door by Aggie LJ available at Amazon, wherever fine books are sold, I'm sure, um, and you can get that version. And I recommend that if you have a tween reader in your life, because this is a middle grade tween action adventure fantasy that your middle grade reader will enjoy. Let's talk about it now. Okay, I've got the specs for you. I'm gonna read you the specs that are, you know, here in my notes as I do. All right, we have The Water Door. The hardcover was published in 2022. This particular version is 545 pages. Um, I've written down my synopsis is Uncle Thaddeus wants a specific diamond called the Zecusith. And he thinks that because Jeremy has something special about him, that he can bring it back from Tetheray. Right? But I'm going to read you the back cover, too, because the back cover does a better job than I did. Okay, the back cover is, imagine this. Your parents have been kidnapped. To rescue them, you must dissolve yourself into the water of a secret hydro portal called the Water Door. Flow through a wormhole in space to another planet and bring back your family's legendary heirloom, a giant blue diamond. Are you ready to go? Okay, so here's what we have happening. We have Josh, who is 11, and Jeremy, who is 13. These two brothers have been dropped off at their grandparents' house at the beginning of summer vacation when they weren't expecting that to happen, and their parents have gone off on an adventure with their Uncle Thaddeus. So these two brothers are not exactly pleased about this. They're not exactly excited. There's some conflict, some tension. We'll call it tension, not conflict. There's some tension. Hmm. But what's interesting is Aggie doesn't let them, you know, get upset with each other. You know, I mean, we see Jeremy internalizing some of his angst and we see his thought processes. We see him acting like a 13-year-old boy. We see him upset with his circumstances, but you know, okay, I'm going to power through this summer. Okay. I, we see that. And it's, I think it's very well done. I mean, I'm not a 13 year old boy. I, I didn't raise any boys in my life, so I can't identify with a young lad, but through this story, I was able to identify with two young lads. And these two young lads have two different personalities and we get to grow with their personalities through the story. Now, as an adult reader, I'm seeing these two young lads from an outsider's perspective, but I could tell that if I was, you know, a 12 year old boy reading the story, I would be able to identify with at least one of these kids. Okay. Because, because their personalities are there on the page and jumping off the page at you. Okay. Josh, the younger of the two, his personality is all over this book. Okay. You, you know, his personality a few pages in, you've got his personality down and it just grows. Okay. It, very well done. Very nicely done. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about this adventure that these kids go on. Obviously, and, and I'm going to try to give away spoilers. All right. But obviously the water door, that's the title of the book. There's a water door. There is some kind of portal the back cover copy told us there's a portal to another world, another planet. That world is called Tetheray. So these two boys have some way to get through that water door to this other world. And we learn about that way. We learn about this, this specialness that Jeremy has to him. We learn about this, this affinity that he has, this relationship that he has with water. And the water door is this portal that he he learns that he can manipulate, he can get through, he can use to get this diamond to help his parents. And that's, I mean, that's the simple part of the story, right? That's the simple, the, the simple plot is go get the diamond to help your parents go through this door. But there is so much more going on. There are all these little breadcrumbs that Aggie gives us in the first part of the story, like this, this tune that grandma hums when she's in the kitchen. That tune comes into play later when we're in Tetheray. Who would have thought? 
right? There's, um, there's a, a book of di about dinosaurs and, and different types of dinosaurs that's in the boys' room that they look at and they, they used to look at it when they were younger and they're looking at it again when we're here in the first part of the book. That comes into play when we're in Tethere because there's some dinosaurs in Tethere. I mean, there's, there's just so much that you can pick up on in, in the first part of the book that comes into play later. There's just little bits and pieces that, that I think a, a middle grade reader would, would love. It would be very endearing to them. I think they would enjoy it a lot. So I would say if you have a middle grade reader in your life, The Water Door with the glare on it, The Water Door by Aggie LJ would be an awesome, an awesome read for them. I can recommend that for your, for your tween readers. There you go. Is that all I need to tell you about it? That might be all I need to tell you about it. You can pick it up from her directly if you come to our table at Conjuration, or you can order it online if you're not going to make it to Conjuration, you know, if you're not going to be near Atlanta in November. And that's all I've got for you today, you guys. Thumbs up for cool portals to other worlds. And please subscribe to the channel here and click the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I do these random things. Thanks so much for tuning in.